are the Associate Dean of the School of Engineering, uh, Executive Director at um, Stanford. Yes, that's right. Um, is it possible to have a Silicon Valley online? Or could we say that uh, we can have now a lot of Silicon Valleys online and that the, the, the reason for the Silicon Valley won't be as important as it used to be? That's a great question. Let, let me first describe what happens in Silicon Valley. So why is Silicon Valley successful? A few things come into play. First is we have re really smart, knowledgeable people, a very great, great set of engineers and managers and, pol and, uh, and lawyers and accountants, people who are there and located in one place. The second is there is access to great ideas. The research that goes on at a university like Stanford or the University of California at Berkeley, those ideas in the laboratories are being spun out by entrepreneurial people who take the, those innovations and try to create companies. The third is this opportunity to gain access to money, venture capital. There's also a sense of a meritocracy. We don't have in, in Silicon Valley uh, that sense of it's who you know or what university you came from or uh, who your parents are. It's what's your skill set? Where are your ideas coming from? Can you be successful in doing that? So you begin to put that combination together. It's a rich ecosystem. Now the challenge is how do you do that electronically? Elements of that can occur. What we're seeing, however, is that people still want to get together face to face. So one of the things that we may do, for example, in, a, in, in the program I direct, is we, we may bring people to campus and to think about and discuss an idea, something on being uh, entrepreneurial or innovation or a new technology. And then when those people do meet, then when they go back, that interaction is much richer as a result. And, uh, but you don't uh, fear that uh, tomorrow we will say, okay, I don't need to go to the Silicon Valley because I've any Silicon Valley I want to find online no, just networking with others? You can, yeah, I think elements of that can happen, but I think at some point, if you really are trying to complete a deal or take a good idea and spin it out to an invention or a product or a service, at some point you need to come together face to face to do that. Why? Why? Because the, the, the richness of the social interaction is not as strong perhaps sometimes online. Now, you can get past some of that with some of the newer technologies, for example, um, telepresence, a video conference where the image is very strong and sharp, and at times that you can work face to face. That that's one way of beginning to break it down. If it's strictly an online text interaction, that's much tougher. But the way the technologies are evolving, it'll be easier with these virtual telepresence to do the kind of work that I'm doing with you right now. Okay, then the Silicon Valley has a long life ahead of uh, of it. Uh... Why do people come to work and live in Silicon Valley? Those are people from Brussels and France and Germany enormous populations from around the world, it is still a magnet, a focal point where this mixture occurs. So pieces of it can be done virtually, but a lot of it is still that location. And people love to come there as well because the weather's some of the best in the world. Yeah. And that actually has been, a, when they do the analysis about why Silicon Valley is as strong as it is, people point to the actual climate. When you think about, about the numbers of companies in Silicon Valley, some of the top technology companies in the world, those elements of which I described, access to money, good universities, highly technical people, meritocracy, access to other support staff. There's that, that stew, a mix of people there, makes it very easy or easier to get things done.